Hey guys, how you doing? It's Yalik. And, uh, I don't really have a lot going on right now. I've had a busy day up to this point, and as of this point, um, I just got time to kill and do whatever the hell I want. Which has been this, uh, boosted up for an op hit for task force that I was just in, which was Green Court. Um, the hit, I mean, not the task force. <laughs> and, uh, since I had this nice little boost going, I jumped over here for a hit, and uh, I've just been steamrolling level 65s like it's going out of style. So, uh, figured what the hell, I got nothing else going on today, I might as well show some of these. Nope, not gonna do that. Wrong button. There we go. And, uh, just chat, because, well, I did say I have nothing else to do. Um... This is in the, well, of course, um, this is in the 650-ish range of, uh, VP, sorry, lost words for a second. Um, also it is beer o'clock, so there's that. But the hits have been going great, so, whatever. Um, this is in like the 650-ish range VP, uh, these bases, so even though these are all 65, these bases are not any good at all. Um, at least two of these you're gonna see the mines just clustered all towards the middle which is fantastic if you are trying to stop a warrior rush that way but not fantastic if you're trying to stop um, a warrior rush any other way or this. And this one I tried to get I tried to flare the back wall and it just wasn't working so I just said screw it and went after the SEMO. <laughs> um, because it's sitting there picking off my, my girls. But uh, at that point, he this guy didn't have a whole lot. See, there was a rocket launcher here, which I barred out. He didn't really have a whole lot to bother me back there. The, the heavies are taking some fire, obviously, but then again, we don't really care about heavies. Uh, machine gun doesn't range. The flames don't range. There is this mortar to think about, but doesn't range, doesn't range doesn't range, and there was a laser over here which did not range. Um, so, yay, terrible base design for the win, once again. Which is generally the case when I beat people. I'm still only uh, level 48, I think. Yeah, uh, so 667 VP at the moment. Still only a level 48, but um, with the boost on, oh great, loud, loud neighbor is out and about. Cool. Well, I hope you can't hear too much of that, but um, if you do, I apologize, because there's absolutely no control I have over it. And uh, it seemed like a nice quiet time when I started recording, but then again, that always happens. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I'm only a level 48. These are all 65s, but they're 65s at a pretty mediocre VP level. Whereas, honestly, for my level 48, this is not too bad. Although I did see somebody this week who was also a level 48 and uh, was at least 100 VP ahead of me. So good for him. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and say his name because if you're watching this, you might know him. Faisal. I think it's Baby Faisal or Faisal Jr. is his second account. Where he's at uh, like 700 and something VP. And just spectacular. That's that's hard work at, at this level. Um, I have been boosting a lot to hit in that task force previously mentioned and taking advantage of those boosts to go out and do stuff like this, but normally I wouldn't be doing this on a typical day unboosted. Um, these walks would be a bit on the long side. A little bit late on my reflaring back there. Um, you know, trying to get everybody gathered up love watching that happen, where the HQ just vaporizes. A uh, little bit late on my little gathering up, uh, extra flaring up at the top, but um, it all worked out. Because again, terrible base design. There was, uh, on that base, two shocks necessary left and right of the HQ, and then one kind of optional on the two shock launchers in front of the HQ, but that one wasn't even completely necessary, so... You know, and that's how it goes. Um, 
this is one I probably would have approached unboosted. Didn't end up having to, which is always nice. But uh, this is, I mean, his mines are pretty badly arranged and doesn't have like any sneaky mines. I had checked behind the boom cannons and such. Uh, also, he left me the shore free. His rocket launchers are back, which meant that I could do this and just keep my heavies in place while the Zooka's caught up. And then just take a little stroll. As if there were nothing there to shoot at us. But of course there is. Had to go this way because of the microwave up the middle. But um, people don't seem to think about that. And his with his mines, like that microwave up the middle with um, the mines scattered around the sides would actually have been a deterrent. But in this case, it was not even at all. And uh, they're trying to get regrouped early because one of the girls just decided to... Uh, pop out the back for no particular reason, like she didn't have space to stand, but she did. So, kind of being a bitch there, and um, I'm not even ashamed to say it. I was a bit annoyed, because I had specifically tried to reflare to keep that from happening, because I could see it coming, and uh, still didn't end up working out, because nope, she was determined. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, still went down, didn't really matter, but... Oh, Sven. <laughs> Um, let's see, what else are we doing here? We got some NPCs, which I will go and get later. This guy, which I don't think I wanted any part of boosted or not. And, uh, let's take a look at... It's, it is actually so nice at this point. If I get somebody in the 50s on, on my map, that's actually, you know, that's a break. And again, I'm a level 48. That's a break, and that's actually kind of a consolation. <laughs> right now because I have been facing mostly 60 and above and uh, especially with the boosts on it does not even matter it's not gonna matter here we are looking at a bit of mine clearance up here don't do this with your mines damn I wish I were on my other account right now I'd show you what to do with your mines anyway hide your mines don't just arrange them symmetrically you know up at the front of the base and count on that being enough to drive people away because it's not one barrage and we're, we're through all that Whereas if they are hidden behind every other building, now I have something to think about. So we've got a shock here, and definitely a shock there. Possibly a shock here, but not completely necessary. Again, optional. And uh, yeah, we're doing it. We're in. And a free beach. There is nothing better. If you know what you're doing with it, there is nothing better than just being given the beach to land without a second thought. If you're trying to stop people from, or at least deter people from attacking your base, take away the beach. You know, make them smoke further. Make them do more work. Make them waste more GBE. <laughs> we want to land right next to that shock launcher, so we're going to go... Boop, boop. Um... Yeah, I mean, like, the further I have to walk, the more I have to think about. And get that going. And not having the beach, if I have to smoke that, that's uh, that's a problem for me. We're actually going to triple smoke here, because I can. Because I have all this GBE to, to, to spend. And we're still going to try to poke out the back, aren't we? Yes, we are, of course. So, pop, pop, and pop. Get some critters out front, and that should go down, poof and poof. Two shots, because no ice. Boy, that is a lot of purple statues. Look at all the GBE there. Good for him. I don't know what he's doing with all that GBE, but man, that must be fun to play with. Anyway, I'd say coffee break, but it's not coffee o'clock. Alrighty, so... Having fun, just boosted the hell out of everything, and if we're going to go ahead and boost, then we might as well take advantage of it. So, yeah, this has been my uh, my afternoon, like the last 35, 40 minutes of my day, and uh, not going to lie, this is the best part of my day so far. So, anyway, I think I should have a few more bases to go, and we're going to have enough time to get to hop on that one. Well, yes, we are. Oh, no, wait, can't just... Yes, okay, because I boosted these first. Um, yeah, 
Cool. So we'll be able to carry that into the op as well, and that's a good thing too. That makes me happy. But anyway, I will catch you guys around, and um, don't click the boat. Just uh, hold out for a little bit longer. Don't click the boat. That's all I'm going to say. And with that, I leave you. Take care.